CGTN's Wu Guoshu has talked to one of the team's experts, Professor Marion Koopmans, before the team arrived. Guoshu is live for us in Beijing. Guoshu, give us more details. All of these two team members whose arrival has been delayed and also a rundown of the research team's schedule in China. All right, Zhong Xu, the two experts uh, were said to have been found with antibodies. The WHO said on Twitter that they were found to have antibodies, and my understanding is that if some person has antibodies, it means if he is not vaccinated, then he's probably infected before. WHO said they are being retested for both two types of uh, antibodies. And the uh, WHO says the team of 15 all had tested negative for the disease prior to leaving their home countries and were tested again in Singapore. The other 13 are already in Wuhan in a local hotel. Under Chinese regulations to control COVID-19, they are expected to undergo a quarantine, which is normally at least uh, 14 days. No more detailed agenda of them are available at the moment. Uh, they will hold meetings with Chinese scientists and medical experts throughout their trip and conduct field visits. Chinese and WHO experts began preparing for this trip last October. Since then, experts from the two sides have held four video meetings already, and they're expected to have more during the quarantine period. One, uh, one expert, Hong Yu In, a, vitam a Vietnamese biologist who is part of the team, told Reuters that uh, after completing quarantine, the team will spend two weeks interviewing people from research institutes, uh, hospitals, and the seafood market in Wuhan. Peter Ben Ambrek, who is leading the independent experts, said the team will mainly stay in Wuhan. And WHO chief Dr. Tadjoua said he is pleased about the trip. And the WHO's chief emergency expert has said the trip is about science, not about pointing fingers and playing the blame game. We're pleased that in an international team of scientists, distinguished experts from 10 institutions and countries are commencing their travel to China to engage in and review scientific research with their Chinese counterparts on the origins of the virus. Let this mission and let other missions be about the science, not about the politics. We are looking for the answers here that may save us in future, not culprits and not people to blame. Dr. Tedros also stressed that this trip can generate hypotheses for future studies and which is important not only just for COVID-19 but also for the future of global health security and to manage emerging disease threats with pandemic potential.